It's boss time! Here comes Sasha! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match, multiple time Raw Women's Champion. You should get one of those uh, rings that say Graves on it like Sasha has. I'll pass. looking more excited than ever here tonight as well as she should be this is a big match michael it's just an infectious feeling when bailey comes to town when bailey competes everybody's feeling hug life except corey i think she just winked at you byron i think so too hey bailey Here comes the and Riot Squad! Accompanied by Sarah Logan, Ruby Riot, and Liv Morgan. The Riot Squad! WWE could use a little anarchy. Would you agree, fellas? Uh, I don't agree with that. I get nervous whenever these three are around. Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. An incredibly talented trio with a big, bright future in WWE. Well, no question about that. Antics aside, three very talented ladies. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. This might be it! Oh, my! Oh, nasty impact. Harsh impact. Oh. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against 
welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women yet so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalia and Carmella's corner. Maybe going for something else? Yeah, but the grip on this one doesn't seem as tight, Michael. That was a tear the features clean off your face. Boom, what impact! I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kick return the tie and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but the... Look out! There's the tag! And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. What a stomp! Good grief! Beautiful technique. Nasty kick to the face. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Impact. Uh oh, no, don't do this. What a stop. Good grief. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Hart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Oh, nasty impact. Ooh, that was a long way down. Knee stop. That'll ruin your leg. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team. Hey, Byron, just like you. Bankrupt. It's heating up now. Oh, man. Penny Brigham. Oh, man. Incredible impact. Just before three. That was real close. She powered out there, Michael. Look at her go. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop. Oh, the backstabber. It's Sasha with a bank statement. The bank statement. I knew it was only a matter of time. But can Sasha Banks capitalize? you got to believe this one's over. Oh, what a chop block. Now they win like that. Says a lot about a duo. Oof. Boom, right to the chop. Pick up your teeth in section 112. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Sasha Banks leading the team to victory. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. 
Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.